as they attack the paper, ask the South Africans who are here and they'll tell you about it, how the South African RAND was attacked and attacked and attacked. As they attack, they target a currency and they cause that currency to fall in value. Or the IMF demands that you devalue. And as the value of the paper falls, guess what happens? There's a massive transfer of wealth from the unsuspecting masses to a predatory, excuse my language, a predatory blood-sucking elite. And so it facilitates the political goal of control when you can impoverish them and reduce Bangladesh and reduce Pakistan and reduce Indonesia and reduce Africa to miserable poverty and destitution because hungry people, they can't wage any struggle. A hungry man would even worship an idol. What I have done in this brief moment with you, and I want to leave some time for the question and answers, what I've done with you today is to show you from the Quran that there's a parallel between that which went before in Egypt, between Pharaoh and Moses, alayhi salam, and that which is now happening. That one culminated with the destruction of the forces of falsehood and the forces of oppression. And this one will culminate with the destruction of the forces of falsehood and the forces of oppression. All that you have to do, those who follow Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, and who are prepared to stand up for what is truth, regardless of the price you have to pay, and who are not impressed by pata cake, pata cake, bakers, mankind of Islam. All that you have to do is hold on while the storm is blowing. The wisdom of the Lord is great. It is his wisdom at work to test who are his true servants. Who are those who are going to spend all their time fighting over, should you put your hands here or should you put your hands there? Fighting over trivia, fighting with each other in sectarian conflicts. He belongs to that camp. Me ain't going to listen to him. Excuse my Trinidad language now. He belonged to that camp. He had that kind of he that was he teacher. Me ain't going to listen to him. No, we are brothers. We are sisters. We are pursuing the same goal. We follow the same master, the same leader. If you have to defer with me, do it with love. If you have to defer with each other, do it with respect. Most, Molana Siddiq and I have been involved in a boxing match for a long time now. Uh, he's a heavyweight, I'm not. <laughs> but our differences has never stopped us from working together. Why should your differences with me stop you from embracing me as your brother? Even when you defer with me, you could listen to me politely. And I will listen to you politely. The end will come the same way it came in Egypt. The end will come when the son of Mary returns. And when the son of Mary returns, remember the most powerful voice in history. The most powerful voice in history ever to have declared that the son of Mary will one day return is the voice of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. We know more about what's going to happen when he comes back. More than the Pope knows. The Pope essentially is always a white man, remember that. We know more about what's going to happen when the son of Mary returns than even the Pope knows. We know the truth will triumph. Let us end with this verse of the Quran. هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ لِيُذْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ الشَّهِيدًا He it is who has sent his messenger, Muhammad, 
sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, sent him with the truth. Sent him with a way of life based on truth, with the guidance, that it might prevail in the end. That it might prevail over all rivals. And Allah is sufficient as a witness of the truth of that end. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim wa tuba alina ya mulana innaka anta tawab rahim. Barahmatika ya arhamu rahmin. Ameen. Zakala Khair Molana Sahib, a powerful presentation as usual, and all of us who have heard Molana before would know that he's touched on so many of the things that uh, he normally speaks about, but he's gone into much more than just the political and economic challenges of the modern age. I think Molana uh, seems to also have a degree in history. He remembers all these dates and events and things that happen, and you can't help but learn something from him when you hear him deliver a lecture. So much like with the presentation this morning, uh, we're going to devote some time to a question and answer session, uh, just about half an hour, inshallah. So we'd follow the same format of this morning. Brothers, if you have a question, you can uh, come forward close to the table in front here. There's the cordless mic passing around, and um, sisters as well. Or uh, you can write down your question and pass it to us. Uh, just when you're asking a question, if you can give us your name and let us know where you're from, inshallah. Ambassador Usman Ali, my colleague when I worked at the Foreign Service. Assalamu alaikum again. Um, alaikum really a great pleasure listening to you, Brother Imran. <clears throat> it makes me feel very proud, both from your academic uh, ec excellence and the quality of the Islamic knowledge. <clears throat> I, my question is a rather sim very simple, almost naive one. <clears throat> Why is it? <clears throat> in Muslim countries, or what is perceived as Muslim countries, there is squalid poverty, moral bankruptcy, poor governance, in spite of the fact of what we talk about, the Quran and the, uh, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. W what has gone wrong? What, I mean, w why is it, and how can we really mark it this, 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 uh, this religion. That's a problem. We are unable to market it. We are unable to, the, uh, the problem also that some of us can't communicate. You're an excellent communicator. I make a, we are talking, we are all Trinis here. I make this analogy. Maybe, you know in Trinidad and Tobago, we have the steel band. I feel it's an excellent instrument. It's not only carnival and jump up. It's a lovely instrument, fascinating instrument. I hope the visitors get a copy of a steel band tune and say them play, hear them play. Could you please, I, I am making my point. Are you, are, you, are you the moderator? Are you the moderator? Mr. Chairman, I, I seek your permission. I am trying to make an analogy which is in a comparison. That's, the inter that's another thing. The intolerance of Muslims towards non-Muslims. I was making the comparison that there's a good thing in the steel band, but we, we in Trinidad and Tobago, we are unable to market it. The same thing, we have an excellent thing in Islam, but we are unable to market it. This morning I was listening to Dr. Zakir, mm. and I was also listening to Jean Myers there. Mm. Yeah. And they're mm. able to communicate and convince people. 